Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's Mark with GeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. This morning, it's a shaving video, and I'll be using my Vikings Blade Long Handled Vulcan Razor. Love this razor. It's twist to open, and it's got this beautiful gripping knurling on the handle for a Gives you a great grip. It's got nice heft and weight, terrific balance, and of course it's twist to open, so it's easy to load a blade. Speaking of blades, I'll be using the Supermax Blue Diamond Razor Blade. I haven't used these in a while. Just had them in the drawer. Thought I'd use them. See how they perform. Supermax Blue Diamond. So we'll be using that. But the real star of the show for this shave is this. This is the Razor Rock Chrome Brush. It came just the other day, Razor Rock Chrome. And it is a beautiful, heavyweight, fully chromed synthetic shaving brush from Razor Rock. And um, it's their Silver Tip Plus Soft Knot. Uh, and it's supposed to be incredibly, incredibly soft. And Hopefully it'll be a good performer. Now the reason why I've been going towards synthetics is because they generate a lot of lather on the face. It's just incredible how much lather you can get from a synthetic brush, which is why I'm using them more and more. In the last 10, 15 years, the technology for synthetic brush for synthetic brushes has improved so much that you see on a lot of discussion forums for shaving, guys are going towards synthetic brushes. It's not to say that the natural hair brushes like the Boar and the Badger are bad. It's just that this is, seems to be the flavor of the day because the technology is getting so good. The knots are very soft and generates a lot of lather. So to test this, we're going to be doing a face lather. And I'm going to be using the Palmolive Shave Stick. It comes like this in a box. Like this. You can get these... You know, two of them for about uh, three, four dollars on eBay. Comes wrapped up like that. You peel the foil back. There's a shave stick. You wet your face. You uh, you rub it all over, and then you use the brush to build a ladder. Now I've been using this one here, so we're ready to go with it. Now the great thing about synthetic brushes is you don't need to soak them a lot. So we're just going to throw that in the water there like that. And uh, while that's soaking a little bit, I'm going to wet my face and we're going to get, and we're going to, get to the shave. All right. Now I'm just going to take this and wet the tip a little bit in the sink, put a little bit of moisture on there. And we're going to go ahead and rub this on my face. These are great. They're great for travel, especially the palm olive. Palm olive is a nice size for travel, as is the Arco. The Arco is good too. The top box shave sticks can be a little large, but you know it's got that great top box soap in them. And I like to work it upward like this to kind of get under the whisker. So. The palm olive has a lot of great moisturizers. It really is a nice, affordable shaving stick. And you can see I've been using this one quite a bit. All right, so that's good. So we've got more than enough on my face there. So we're going to take the brush. We're going to give it a little bit of a ring here. It's going to retain some water. And here we go. Let's see how this brush lathers. Wow. Wow, just explode. And this is very, very soft. This brush is really, really soft and it is generating a heap of lather on my face. I can start painting on now. Wow, that's nice. This is a very, very soft brush. Wow, very nice. Okay, look at that, I got plenty on the brush. 
or more passes. Okay, so let's get my uh, Supermax here. Let's uh, get it loaded into my Razor. There we are, Supermax, Blue Diamond. Gonna heat this razor up a little bit. Can't believe how fast that landed. That's incredible. Of course, that's also the palm oil and shave stick, but boy, that brush just, it's fantastic. But the real test is, because I don't have a shaving bowl, I don't have a soap bowl here, uh, it's going to retain enough lather on that brush for two more passes. That's the test to see if it is, because usually with badger and boar brushes, I have to reapply the shave stick. With the badger brush, I have to reapply for every pass. With the boar brush, I have to pass. At least, I have to reapply at least once. All right, so let's get to the shave. Here we go. Thirty degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's the first pass down. Let's rinse. Well, nice first pass to be expected. Let's take this the way it is right now and see if I can generate some more lather on my face. I've, it's wet, so that's going to add to the soap on the brush already. And look, I've got more than enough for a second pass, and I'll probably have, if I miss my guess, I'll probably have enough, more than enough for a third pass as well. I can't get over how soft this brush is. Wow. That's, I mean, it generates a lot of lather. I mean, look, I still have a lot of lather on this brush. It's just, that is really amazing. And it really is very, very soft. I can't get over how soft that is. Okay, let's rinse. So, now we're going to do a third pass. And again, I got plenty, plenty of lather on this brush. Plenty of lather on this brush. So, here we go. And again, this is so very, very soft. Very, very soft. And it just seems to be generating the lather from the water I have on my face. Just add a little more water and you get a little more lather. That's what's so amazing about these synthetic brushes. I mean, look, already, again, I've got another heap of lather. This palm olive is a nice shave stick. It really is. I mean, it's got a nice scent, and it has, it does offer great lathering qualities, as do most of the, all the shave sticks that I've used. I've only used three, the Arco, the Tabak, and the uh, palm olive. If you know of another shave stick that uh, you'd like me to try, leave a comment below. I'll get it, and I'll give it a test drive. Yeah, this is this brush is 1999 on Italian Barber. I don't know if it's sold on Amazon. I'll find out. I'll have links below. But my gosh, 
It's super, super soft. It feels great on the face. I mean, why, why go out and pay $60, $80 for a Badger brush when for $20 you can get this? And I'm, I have a $60 Badger brush from Art of Shaving. This is softer. This is softer. It, it, really, it really is. I mean, wow. This, and it's got this heavyweight chrome handle. It feels really, I mean, it feels really firm and secure in your hand. You know you've got something there when you're using it. Really very nice. I mean, I'm very impressed by it. All right, this is the third pass. We're going to go against the grain. All right, third pass done. Let's rinse. Okay, nice shave. I don't need to do any touch up, anything like that. Got a really, really nice shave, nice and smooth. Very, very nice touch up. Very, very nice shave, rather. Really no touch up. If I wanted to, if I want to do some touch up, maybe say right here, like this. Look, I got plenty of cream left. If I want to do, if I want to do some touch up there, so. We'll just go through the motions here to uh, touch up a little bit. If I want to touch up here again, that sort of thing. If I want to touch up, I'd say here in the corners of my mouth, look, I got more than enough. I mean, there's so much there. Look. Okay, now let's rinse. Nice, very nice, very, very nice shade. And the point is, is that I had more than enough cream on this brush, generated by this brush, for three good passes and touch-ups. And I had even more left. Let me do a warm water rinse and a cold water rinse from the tap. And I'll show you the final result of the lather and the brush. Okay, now I'm gonna do my cold water rinse. Very nice. Got a fresh towel waiting for me right here. Very nice. All right. Well, I'm going to finish up with some uh, classic uh, Avon Wild Country Aftershave. I don't know, the label's coming up there. Wild Country Aftershave. This is new old stock that I bought. I also have some that I've had for years that is still very, very good, but this is new old stock. They don't make this anymore, but it's great. It's very, very close to nod and um, I like it a lot and uh, as soon as I run out I'm going to be replacing the bottle the contents of the bottle with Panade. very nice got a nice scent to it really really do like it oops really do like it a lot again it's uh, Avon's Wild Country. They don't make this anymore, but like I say, the bottle is really nice. I'm going to hang on to the bottle, and then when it runs out, I'm going to fill it with Panade because they're so similar. Um, now I'm going to use a little bit of the Wild Country Aftershave Balm. It's the same scent, but it uh, gives you a little moisture there, which is nice because we're still in winter here. And a little bit upstairs. And 
just just a little more to finish off here. Just a little more. Make sure I get my neck. Great shave. Really nice shave. But the real star of the show here today was this Plissoft, silver tip Plissoft shaving brush by Razor Rock. Look at that lather. Look how much lather I have. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Look. Look how much lather I have left. Look. I mean, there is just a heap of lather left on this thing. And I had three passes and I did touch-ups, even though I really didn't need to do touch-ups. But look, look how much lather I have left if I needed to do some more touch-ups. Or even, I'll bet, if I had to have, you know, I don't know if you're going to do four passes, but my gosh, look at how much was left there. Amazing. Now, let me show you this, just so you know, the cleanup routine with the brush. What I do is I rinse this brush off real well, and actually as I'm rinsing it, I'm moving it back and forth in my hand here like this to kind of get all that soap out of there. And then I'm giving it a good downward shake to get all that water out of there, because the one thing is these brushes do retain a lot of water. So. When you get this thing, and you might want to, you can get, if you want, you can give it a little squeeze like this, gently, not to pull, you don't want to pull out the knot, you just want to squeeze it a little bit, just to rinse it, just to kind of dry it out a little bit while you're rinsing it. Okay, so that's it right there like that. And when you give it a shake, you continually to shake this thing, it'll shake and then you'll have a result like this. Where the strands will be all clumped together. When they're completely dry, they'll look like this. This is the disruptor. This also came in the same shipment. This is a $9.99 uh, budget Plissoft brush. We'll be using that down the road too. I just wanted to show you, that's what it looks like when it's dry. When it's wet and in the drying process, it looks like that. So what I like to do then is I like to take my towel here and I like to just give it a little bit of a squeeze like that and then I just like to rub it out, just brush it out here, just to brush it out here like this, not rub, brush. And you can see I've got some on the mirror already. Hang on, let's get, let's get rid of Because that is probably one of the occupational hazards with this brush is that it does tend to splatter a little bit if you're not careful. So once you get all that water out of there and you give it a, you know, don't pull on it. Just give it a slight, slight, you know, gentle ring. Give it some shakes like this. Brush it out on a towel and look. It's, it's almost all already all it's almost all dry already. That's why these brushes are so great. They're so easy to maintain, and they respond so well to cleaning. And it, you know they're just great. I mean, look, this one is already dry. This is a disruptor. It's already dry, and this one I've just dried. And you know that's why I love these brushes so much. Now I don't know if this is a downside or not. It could be. But I will point it out, these handles on, um, this is the third Razor Rock brush I have. The handles uh, are quite thick. Now this is my Vikings Blade Admiral shaving stand. I love this shaving stand. This is, this is big enough to accommodate my, um, my Vikings Blade uh, Vulcan Razor or even my Merker Future Razor, which is quite large. And it does a great job hanging a variety of brushes here. But with this brush, you can see it's not going to fit right here at the collar. And it's not going to fit here. It has to fit up here on top, which is okay, but that's just the way it is. Usually I like to hang my brushes lower, like right about here. 
um, but this one won't fit. And this is a good large mouthed uh, shave, shaving brush, razor and brush stand. So for some reason, these razors, these brushes are made um, larger to where this is where you end up hanging them. I'll show you with the, um, with the disruptor. The disruptor won't fit here either. It has to fit up above. I'll get another one for you. Hang on. I'll show you with the um, Razor Rock Ivory Brush. See, right there up above like that. Won't fit there, won't fit there. Now here's my Vikings Blade White Knight Brush. And very nicely. And other brushes that are like this fit in here as well. So um, that's just something to point out, just to be aware of. I don't know if Razor Rock sells a stand that accommodates these to be hung, you know, lower here in the collar or not. I don't know. But I just want to point that out to you. But I have no problem hanging it up above like that. It looks great. And um, it sits there. It's well balanced. It's not on top all over. So that's what's good. So. This is an outstanding brush. Yes, it's a little heavy in the hand. It really is. It's, you'll, you'll get a little bit of a workout from, from uh, using the brush as opposed to other brushes. But boy, it feels great in the hand. It is heavy. Um, the Plus Soft Silver Tip is wonderfully soft. I am so impressed by that. And it's got plenty of backbone to, um, to work up a lather. One last tip before I leave. Uh, if you notice when I start shaving, and I'll start shaving on my cheek, I start on my chin and then I work up. The reason why is because these, these brushes don't have that natural give of the uh, bore of the badger. Um, those seem to splay out a little more naturally. These, because, well, they're synthetic, that when you, when you press on them, if you press on them too, too harshly or too abruptly, the soap and the lather will splatter on your mirror. Um, and that's why if you just use a point to go into it and open up that brush bristle, it'll then it'll help open it up naturally. That's why you have a point on your chin. That's why I go around right like that. So it opens it up and you can see it's already opening it up naturally. And then, then I can hold it down and then start working up the lather. That's why I start on the chin. With other brushes, I would start probably right here. But with these, I start on the chin and then I go up because it helps to open up the, uh, the, the hairs of, the, of the, synthetic, the synthetic fibers, the synthetic hairs, so that they, it helps to open it up so it splays a little more gently without being so abrupt and splattering. So that's what I found. All right, that's it. Thanks very, very much. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. I got to get 1,000 subscribers for my YouTube channel by February 20th, 2018, or things will change and it could be detrimental to my channel. So please share this channel. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Please tell everybody about it. I really need to get those thousand subscribers. So I really do appreciate uh, your time and your patronage regarding that. Um, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, comment below, let me know. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip. George, other cartoons, other videos like this, Please subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon.